Say hi, Shay! Hey. And now, little friend. <laughs> My sister's frantically looking for the sound stuff, but we don't really need that just yet. We just uh, we just arrived in Alastar Airport. Um, we're here to support Cheryl and Yay! her endeavors, Cheryl. which we'll show you guys around after this. And um, yeah, I, it's my first trip to Alastar, and I am very I impressed. Like it so it's far. the airport so far. First impressions, super clean. We're yeah. about to get kicked out the airport door. Yeah, we're about <laughs> to get kicked out. So that's why we're walking and talking, because apparently it's a really small airport and they close they close everything up every time there's no flights yeah. which it's kind of interesting i guess and yeah so far it's been really scenic lots of paddy fields so we, so we and um an yeah, yeah so now we're gonna sit here and wait get an uber and chill out That's the school, the, ah. the blue curtains. Okay, okay. So yeah. we can hear everything we're saying. That's yeah, we can hear them. Yeah. Hey guys, so we're here in Alostar, and this is Cheryl, my really, really good friend. We've known each other for what, 17 years? Too long. Yeah, <laughs> Too my old long. friend, but not really old. We're not old people. Yeah. That's not what I'm no, saying. No, saying no, we've no, been no, friends no. for a long time. Yeah. So how do we know each other, Cheryl? You used to make me do ad mats. Yeah, she made me do my homework. I never wanted to do my homework. We had study groups. <laughs> we had study groups, which was mainly Wait, eating she, food. No, you would tell me that you were going to cook and I would come over and then you would make me do homework. But I would cook. <laughs> I'd make a burger because it was the only thing that I knew how to make. So she would feed me and then make me do homework. Yes. But it worked. It did. We passed it. Did. Did. Yes. So a couple of we, years ago, uh, me and a few friends, we started a little school. Well, it started in the living room of a very close friend of mine. And it's grown into what we know as today NTA Social Enterprises. And part of NTA Social Enterprises is the NTA School for Refugee Children. So Nadia has been really awesome. And you know, all of you, thank you so much for coming. I'm so excited about having you all here. I'm so excited about you all meeting all the children, meeting our teachers, having a look at the work. So yes, I can't wait to show you all around. And today we're gonna to learn more about what Cheryl does and what the school entails. And hopefully, you know, have a little bit of fun, get to know um, the kids. And yeah. And guess who else is joining us here today? Hey, it's hi. Elsa. Hi. So we all go way back to high school. We've all known each other for eons. And we are all Kampong girls today from one Kampong to another. Yeah. What's up, Elsa? <laughs> Standing in the common area where the children generally have their meals, um, and that's a little reading area that we have over there. And this over here is the nursery class. Um, this is where our oh, it's a bit of a mess at the moment. So this is the nursery class. So the children here, the youngest is four years old. This is our yeah, these are youngest. These are four years old. Um, the oldest one is about seven years old. So generally, what we focus in this room is really fun. It's, it's very playful. It's a lot of sensory learning. A lot of yeah, just really them having lots and lots of fun. And this over here is our level two and level three classroom. Okay, ready? 